Yan Yang, how fares the battle? The forces of Gong Soon Zan are fighting with surprising vigor, and our front lines are being pushed back. The Bai Ma cavalry is proving particularly troublesome. Gong Soon Zan's forces may reach Ye soon. Lord Yuan Xiao, you must evacuate at once. No. What kind of commander would I be if I fled before the battle? It is most certainly not appropriate behavior for a nobleman such as myself. My lord, you show us all the way. It is when things look most grim that a chance often presents itself. We will use this opportunity to slay Gong Sun Zan and unite Hebei! Shout! Please, hold back, right now! I cannot! I will not run and hide. My ancestors would never forgive me. Take this! <laughs> Lord, you end show! Whatever may come, I will fearlessly show myself boldly to all. That is my honor. That is my pride. Bold and glorious warriors, come with me and fight bravely! I have a certain friendship with Master Zhang Miao, who has been put in charge of the defenses here. Thanks to his efforts, the officers remaining here in Yang Province have all agreed to defect to our side. This has allowed us to seize Puyang without any unnecessary pain. I have also heard that Cao Cao's main unit has caught wind of this news and has cut short its battle in Xu Province to hurry back here. Hmm. Then I will simply have to smash them into oblivion. The key fortresses of Yang Province are Puyang and Dingtao further to the south. If we can seize these two locations, then victory will be ours, I believe. In other words, we need to attack Dingtao while defending Puyang at the same time. However, Cao Cao's forces outnumber us greatly. I'm not sure what chance we stand against them. Stop your worrying, Zhang Liao. I am on your side. Defeat is unthinkable. Come, we will pummel Cao Cao and send him scurrying from this land. Hey, this must be some kind of big joke, right? Father? Father? I don't believe it. This isn't happening. Father! We need a physician. Somebody send for a physician immediately! Our lord has already passed. <laughs> My lord... How did this happen? How could something like this come to pass? Master Sun Jian. Father, open your eyes. No! You can't just leave us like this! Please! Father! Father! What do we do for our next move? There is no we without Master Sun Jian. I suppose we'll be merged in with Yuan Shu's forces. I refuse to let that happen. The only reason I agreed to fight was because of our Lord. I would rather leave and go home than serve under Yuan Shu. I understand how you feel. However, you would just leave Master Sun, sir, Master Sun Chuen, and the princess behind? I... You should be free to decide your own path. However, 
We must pay our last respects to our lord before we go. I bring news. Ding Tao has fallen and Master Li Qian has been slain. Most of the castles throughout Yan province have fallen to Lu Bu's forces. <sighs> Uncle, I promise that I shall avenge your death. That leaves only Sha Ho Dun and Shun U in Juen Castle. We must send them reinforcements right away. No, Master Cao Cao. Juen Castle will be able to hold out for a little while as long as those two are defending it. Hmm. Shun Yo, do you concur? Yes, I agree with Master Guo Jia. I think our first move should be to take back Ding Tao. It's settled then. We will head to Ding Tao. Once it has been reclaimed, we will send aid to Sha Ho Dun at Juen Castle and then confront Lu Bu at Pu Yang. Let's go! This is the moment when we take back Yan province from Lu Bu and his men. Congratulations, Lord Yuan Shao. Hebei belongs to you now, my lord. <laughs> Victory was a foregone conclusion with me at the head of our army. Pay heed, men. We have slain Gong Sun Zan, thereby removing the threat facing us. It is time for me to make my move to claim dominion over the land. Oh, dominion over the land. This land is vast, and there are many who have yet to surrender before my might. But there is no army which can match ours. My victory is only a matter of time. All we must do is continue moving forward! Advance, man! It is time for the noble Yuan Shao, ruler of Hebe, to unite this land and become conqueror of all we can see! We will follow you to the ends of the earth, my lord. I swear, I will not rest until this land is yours, Lord Yuan Shao. Sun Jian, you fool. Falling for such an obvious trap. Thanks to you, we've lost a battle we should have won handily. Under normal circumstances, father would have seen through it. But this time, he was fighting for vengeance. And it seems he had gotten too carried away. Losing my battle because he was too carried away? What kind of reason is that? Soon, sir, as that man's son, you are responsible for cleaning up this mess. I shall, in time. But now, as the successor to father, I must organize our troops. As from this day forth, I shall serve as leader of the Soon clan. <laughs> a greenhorn like you is going to organize an army. I'll have you know, you've yet to prove yourself in my eyes. I shall. You will see. The name of the mighty Soon Clan shall ring throughout the land. But first, there is one thing I must say. Father did not have complete trust in you. Likely because of the incident at Luo Yang. Yet, I do not share his sentiment. The fact that you let us lead the vanguard is proof to me that you trust us. As such, I am also willing to place my trust in you. Hmm. The only reason I let you lead the vanguard is because you said you wanted to repay your debt to me on the battlefield. Will you stop wasting time spouting nonsense and start organizing the army? This is not the end of this. Ji Ling, send secret missives to Gong Sun Zon and Tao Qian at once. We shall join forces and attack Yuan Shao. Until I've beaten that fool, and the reins of authority are in my hands, I will not rest. Father. 
Sa! Brother, what do we do now? Sun Tzu, if you do not rise up, Master Sun Jian's dream will end here. Yes, I know that. Of course I know that. There's no time for us to mourn his death. Chuen, Shang Xiang, it's up to us to carry on our father's dream for the land. You're stronger than I could ever be, brother. Come on now. Did you expect anything less from me, Chuen? Brother, are you crying? Of course not. You know me better than that, Shang Xiang. After all, I am the son of the Tiger of Zhang Dong, Sun Jian himself. Brother. Sun Tzu. Chuan, Shang Xiang, Zhou Yu, let's go! Together, we shall forge a new kingdom in Zhang Dong and realize Father's dream. <laughs> My lord, are you seeing this? Your children have grown into fine young adults. Stop your crying. It's unbecoming of a warrior. Let's go, Hoangai. There's something we need to take care of. Sorry, go on ahead without me. I'm not sure if it's my age catching up with me, but... I need to clear my eyes. Not you, too. You guys cry too easily. You're supposed to be warriors. I guess you greenhorns are just softer now. Master Sun Jian, I shall be honored to carry on the tiger's ambition. to you. you're describing is all in your head in my opinion I just do not think it's realistic but master Cheng Pu while we sit here wringing our hands Yuan Shu's force just continues to grow Ugh. so you're saying we must defeat him before he engulfs us and seize control of his base is that about right Zhou Yu my lord have you heard the word reckless Ugh. Sun Tzu has momentum. He also has the ability to draw people to him and inspire them. With that, now is the time to show the world that Sun Wu is in Zhangdong. <clears throat> Why do we listen to the musings of a pallid youth? Listen, let's call it a day. Then tomorrow, I want to hear everyone's thoughts on this. Hey there, hold it now. Oh, <laughs> you went a little far, didn't you? 
Personally, I really think he had a point back there. I really do. He did. But he is way too passionate for his age. It comes from being a highly intelligent but rash youth. We must teach him better, understand? <sighs> I understand. At least for now, we must show him exactly what a battle truly is. Hmm. 